Welcome back to continuous live rolling coverage from Sona 2022. We are outside City Hall here in Cape Town. Joining us here at our studios, we have uh, Minister Ronald Amola. Minister, very good afternoon to you. Welcome to Radio Islam International. Good afternoon and afternoon to your listeners. You know, all the guests that have come here for interviews this morning, we've asked them this question. When Madiba delivered that speech back in 1990, do you remember where you are, where you were at the time? Yeah. What were you thinking? Yeah, I was in a small farm in Pumalanga called Pumat Port, uh, watching from a small black and white TV. And I was inspired um, to participate in politics, to, I was seeing a new future for our country. I think I was, I was around um, five or six years old at the time. And um, it was a true inspiration to see the things that are going to happen because you'll know in the farms there was uh, racism were closed out so that was um, us seeing the country coming out of age and looking forward to a bright future what went through your mind as, as you were walking here this afternoon seeing that statue on the exact spot where Madiba delivered that speech and where we are as a country now compared to where we were then and what the hopes and aspirations were then and what are the realities now yeah, I also look at it as an inspiration to say the dream that Madiba had cannot go to waste. We, as the current generation, needs to take this PM, change the tens of fortune of our country, confront the triple challenges of uh, poverty, um, uh, unemployment, and, um, and inequality. So that is what went through my mind, that will help to carry the bulls by its horns and do our best to change the fortune of this country. And I do believe that um, if a generation of Madiba did it, we can also do it, we can confront poverty, we can fight and defeat uh, the, the, the unemployment. Now, as Minister of Justice, what are you hoping to hear in, in the SONA this evening? We know that um, the report into state capture by the Zondo Commission of Inquiry has been featuring prominently. Uh, we know that politicians usually will remind us the law has to take its course. But the feeling on the ground from South Africans now is they want to see action. They want to see perpetrators brought to book. What, what can the president say to South Africans in that regard? What, what are you hoping he would say? Yeah, obviously the president will outline the support we're going to give to the law enforcement agencies, uh, the NPA, the Hawks, so that they're able to implement the Zondo Commission uh, report, but also to, to outline mechanisms through which the private sector can also give the support for us to, to, to ensure that there is investigations, there is prosecution, and that justice is seen to be done. And um, we will also be able to state that um, in the past um, year, financial year, he had announced that um, after the P PPE scandal, that we are going to create four commercial crimes court in addition to the commercial crimes court that we have now in the country. And we have already done that. That will help to ease the, the court role, it will also give space or give way to the cases of corruption that will come from the, from the, from the Zondo Commission report. Finally, Minister, you've been in the headlines in recent days because of what happened at the JSC hearings. Uh, you've probably had some time to reflect over what transpired. You and uh, Mr. Malema, uh, you were his deputy in, in the Youth League uh, not too long ago. Uh, do you still stand by, by everything that you said there and by what transpired? or? If you had an opportunity, would you perhaps uh, say things a bit differently? Because there, there was a feeling that at that point when, when the two of you engaged somewhat robustly that uh, some felt that the, the meeting started to disintegrate. Uh, yeah, obviously it is uh, sometimes when uh, in a forum like that you sometimes get carried away by emotions. And um, if uh, society has seen the meeting disintegrating and degenerating, we have to apologize for that. But the points and the issues that we raise there are, remains very important. Um, but we have to do it and maintain, continue to maintain the decorum of the forum. Minister Lamola, we thank you so much for your time and all the best. Thank you.